Hi, I'm Niall Hampton, editor of Practical Caravan, and this is David Motton, tow car editor of Practical Caravan. Well, we've just had the 12 tow car awards and it's time to reveal the winners. But first, David is going to tell us all about how we do the testing. Well, Niall, we've had 44 cars on test this year. Everything from small super minis right up to big luxury 4x4s. And to make it easier for the readers to find a car that's a suitable match for their caravan, everything's been divided into five weight classes. Now, as well as Practical Caravan, we've teamed up with Watcar with their expertise in road testing and the Camping and Caravanning Club, who obviously know everything there is to know about camping and caravanning. We've borrowed caravans from the Swift Group and we've had technical help from Milenko, Alco and Witter to make the tests happen. Okay, so let's talk about the lightest weight class for cars up to 1400 kilograms. Which ones were the likely contenders? Well, as you know, Niall, we always invite back the previous year's winning cars to act as benchmarks for the new models. So last year's winner was the Skoda Octavia and that was very much in contention again this year. It was up against cars like the new Volkswagen Polo, the Volkswagen T-Roc, the Hyundai i30 Tora, the Vauxhall Grandland, so a good variety of different types of car from different brands, so a really open field, I think, this year. Okay, so which car won and why? Niall, our winner in the up to 1400 kilogram weight class is the Skoda Octavia. First and foremost, it's a really good car to tow with. It's stable at speed, and the two litre diesel engine has plenty of pulling power for towing any sensibly matched caravan. It's also very practical. There's loads of space inside, considering it's a relatively small car. It's got a really big boot too, so you certainly won't have to travel light. If you own a lightweight caravan, it's still our favorite small tow car. Okay, let's move on to our second weight class for cars between 1400 and 1549 kilograms. Which cars did you test for this one? Well, we had quite a mixture of cars, crossovers, four by fours, hatchbacks, uh, there was another Skoda in there, the Superb, which was last year's champion in this class, and it was up against the updated Nissan Qashqai, the new Jeep Compass, and the Subaru XV, to name a few. So which one was the pick of the bunch? Well, it wasn't a straightforward decision, Niall. The Jeep Compass has quite a lot going for it as a tow car. If you're looking for a relatively small, relatively affordable 4x4 to tow your caravan, you could do a lot worse. But in the end, the decision went to another Skoda, the Superb. It's just so good in so many ways. It's really stable at speed, and just like the Octavia in the class below, it's very, very roomy and very, very practical. You can fit a passenger of well over six feet in the rear seats behind an equally tall driver with space to spare, and there's absolutely loads of room for your bags. It's affordable to buy, and it's affordable to run. In fact, it's going to take quite a car to beat it, I think. So, two wins in the two lightest weight classes for Skoda, but did they make it three out of three in the 1550 to 1699 kilogram categories? Well, they were certainly in with a shout. They had the new Karok entered into this category, and it's a car I've driven before and liked a lot, but I haven't towed with it up until the Tow Car Award, so I was really looking forward to putting it to the test. But it certainly wasn't going to have things all its own way. One of the other main contenders in this class was the Peugeot 5008, which is an award winner with our colleagues on Watcar. It's their best large SUV of the year for 2018. And the winner, David? Well, for once, it's not a Skoda. It's the Peugeot 5008. Now, it may be an SUV, but it's almost better to think of it as an MPV with SUV styling. The seven seat cabin is really practical, really well thought out, and very stylish too. But perhaps more importantly from our point of view, it tows very, very well indeed. It's got a really punchy and refined engine, and in our lane change test, probably our toughest maneuver that we do, it was absolutely great. So how about the 1700 to 1899 kilogram class? Presumably some large SUVs and some luxury estate cars were on test here. Well, that's right, Niall. We had last year's winner back to defend its title, which was the Jaguar F-Pace. It was up against cars including the BMW 5 Series Touring, the Mazda CX-5, and also the Volvo XC40, which is what car's reigning car of the year. So, which car came out on top? Well, we had so much fun towing with these cars. I can honestly say 
that in the 12 years of the tow car awards we've never had a class with so many great tow cars in it but we had to choose a winner and that winner is the bmw 5 series touring as a tow car it's got the lot it's fast it's stable it's practical there really is nothing that car doesn't do well what about the heaviest weight class for cars weighing over 1900 kilograms well, as you probably expect, Niall, most of the cars in this class are big 4x4s, including last year's class and overall winner, the Land Rover Discovery. It's up against new models, including the VW Tiguan Allspace, uh, the recently revised Kia Sorento, and the new and much improved Ssangyong Rexton. So which of these heavyweight SUVs was your favourite? Well, another strong class with lots of contenders, but perhaps unsurprisingly, it's another win for the Land Rover Discovery. It's great to tow with, and it's a pleasure to drive solo too. It's refined, luxurious, in fact, everything an upmarket tow car should be. So those are the main category winners, but there are also some other awards, aren't there, David? That's right, Niall. There are extra awards for cars which, for one reason or another, have narrowly missed out on winning one of the five main weight classes, but which, nonetheless, the judges thought deserved some recognition. And those cars this year are firstly the Volkswagen Polo, which we've named the best ultralight tow car, the Kia Stinger, the best petrol tow car, the Hyundai i30 Tourer, which has won the Fuel Economy Award, and the Volvo XC40, which we've named best family SUV. So there's just one more award to announce, the overall winner of the Tow Car Awards 2018. Which car is this year's champion? And the winner is the BMW 5 Series Touring. So why did we make the BMW our overall champion? Well, to start with, just think about the cars it had to beat just to win its weight class. There was the Jaguar F-Base, last year's class champion, which remains one of the best tow cars you can buy. The Audi Q5, Volvo XC60, and the Volvo XC40, which is what car's current car of the year. Why did it beat them? Well, no other new model in this year's tests has so many strengths and so few weaknesses. In terms of stability, the BMW is great on the motorway, but it's also stable and secure in an emergency manoeuvre like our lane change test. There's plenty of power for towing any suitably matched caravan and four-wheel drive, means you can make the most of that power in all weathers. The BMW makes a rewarding everyday drive too, and its emissions and running costs are low for a car with such strong performance. Quite simply, it has everything we look for in a tow car. The 2018 overall champion, the BMW 5 Series Touring.